step in this process is getting this to look blended and well together. Right now it looks like my dog is just kind of cut and pasted right over my, my ward here. So we're going to learn how to blend this into the background using what we call layer masking. All right, and layer masking is a process of selectively removing and replacing images. So we can erase things and bring them back temporarily with what we call a layer mask. So what I've done here is I've placed my dog nice and big in the foreground here. So it's right on top of my Kramer layer. All right, so your image should be above everything, okay? And nice and big. Now, what I'm going to do, okay, is I'm actually gonna come in here and I am going to add what we call a layer mask. But the first thing that we need to do is rasterize this layer so that it is editable and usable. So you're gonna click on that layer, you're gonna go up to layer, and you're gonna find rasterize and mine's already rasterized, so you're gonna just click rasterize layer, and that will just compress it into a photo. Next, we are going to add a layer mask. So, you're going to go to where you see this box. It's at the bottom of our layers menu, and it is a box with a circle in, in it. You'll see the little FX, you'll see the black and white cookie, the one in the middle, is a layer mask. Again, in Photoshop, if you hover over things and leave your cursor there for a second, it will tell you what it is. So I'm going to click layer mask. And you'll notice that in the layer that was activated, it added a white box next to the little picture. Right, so we have the little picture, we have this little chain link thing, and a white box. And that means that I now have a it's almost like it put a little carbon copy over it so that I can erase and do things to it without damaging it. Now this layer mask is currently white, but we want that to be black. So to make that black, we're gonna hold our command key on our keyboard and then hit the letter I for inverse. And you'll notice our layer mask went black and our picture is gone. But we can bring that picture back and we're gonna do that using those spray paint brushes that we downloaded the other day. So if you go to your brush tool and you find, I like to go, you could either do it um, over on the right here, but if you go to window and you go to brushes, you'll see that you can, you can better see what kind of brush you're gonna be using. All right, so I'll grab this one. Now, I'm gonna make sure that I have in my tools menu, at the bottom where my color boxes are, I'm going to make sure that I have a white color on top. Again, you can simply click on these little boxes and you can use these arrows to switch it. So black's on top and now white's on top. So the little arrows will flip those. Now, I'm gonna go up to the top and change my brush opacity to be about 50%. Okay, now watch this. When I paint with white paint, look, it's bringing my dog back. And if I keep clicking, it'll spray so that part of him is showing, right? I don't want his whole body to be here, right? Because now it's blocking my word. But if I, if I lightly paint, I can bring a little at a time back. Well, let's say you painted something and you're like, oh, I didn't want to add that. I want to remove that. Switch your color with the arrows to black. And now you can erase and make it kind of, right? It's kind of cool that you can see some of the texture of his body through the letters there, right? So there we go. So now I've blended my layers kind of together using what we call a layer mask. Okay. Now the last thing I'm going to do okay, is I'm going to merge my dog layer with the layer mask 
and my letter layer. So I'm going to click on my top layer. I'm going to hold shift and click on my word layer. And I'm going to go to layer, merge layers, and that will make it one. So that now I can use my layer style to pull the brick through it. So I'm going to double click in the gray on this layer. And again, we want to pull the underlying layer through. And notice some of the lines from the brick come through there, kind of like that. Click OK. And now I have my graffiti Kramer. And that's it. So now I'm going to go up to File, Export, Export as. And I'm going to choose JPG. And that is a JPEG. I will export that JPEG to my desktop and click Save. And there we go. And now you will submit that JPEG that you just exported. And that's it. Good luck, finish off those graffitis, make sure you submit the JPEG to Canvas, and enjoy.